Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. So today we'll be looking at a very simple and significant algorithmic problem that is finding the kth smallest and largest element in an unsorted array. So let's start. So the problem statement states that if uh, an unsorted array is a given and also another integer say k is given the aim for the algorithm is to find the kth smallest element and kth largest element. So, for example, if this is the given array, that is 3, 7, 1, 19, 22, 11, 8. So, this definitely is not a sorted array. And another given integer, k, is equals to 3. So, what we have to find is third smallest and third largest element in the array. So the result we uh, will be looking for is 7 and 11 because 7 is the third smallest 1, 3, 7 and 22, 19, 11. So 11 is the third largest. So if we have a look at the strategy of this algorithm, a very simple strategy rather, a function will be used uh, for both of the cases uh, in which uh, first the array will be sorted. For kth smallest, the value at k minus 1th index will be returned. And for the kth largest, the value at n minus kth index will be returned, where n will be the size of the array. So uh, let's now jump onto the programming part and see how we can code it. So I have opened my ID and I have typed down some lines of codes. As you can see, I have already taken this array an unsorted array and as uh, I'll be needing to sort this array so I have taken uh, this help of insertion sort function which we had previously uh, defined you can use any kind of sort like selection or uh, merge sort or anything so here first uh, we will be needing the size of the array for that uh, uh, I'll be using this size of operator the size of r uh, on the array divided by size of the R of 0 and I'll be taking the um, you know k value let's say this is 2 so uh, let me just print down first that the array is uh, Okay, for this again, I'll be needing an. So I'll be running a very simple loop here. I less than n. I plus plus. And simply print f percentage d a space and the value uh, will simply be array of i. Also, uh, we'll be printing that here k is equals to percentage d and yes, uh, and the value of the you know this will be k. So, a semicolon now here, uh, what we will do. Uh, we will be needing two functions here, kth smallest and kth largest. So, uh, I'll directly print the messages that the percentage teeth smallest element is again a percentage d. Now, the values will be the first will be k. And the next will be, I'll be using a function here, kth smallest, wait, kth smallest. And the arguments for this will be the array itself, uh, the size of the array and the value of k. Right. For kth largest also, we'll be using the same printf, uh, obviously with some differences. So... Here goes this and the name of the function will definitely be changed. This will be kth largest. The arguments will uh, be unchanged. 
and yeah in this message again this will say that the largest element so uh, what we need to do here is we need to define these uh, kth largest and kth smallest functions so uh, the return type will be int so first I'll define the smallest kth smallest the arguments are int array then uh, the size of the array and lastly the value of the k so first what we are going to do uh, we are going to actually use this insertion sort function the arguments will be array and the size of the array and uh, lastly what we will return for this uh, kth smallest value this will be array of k minus 1 so for kth largest function also uh, I'll be copying down these lines of codes the changes here uh, will be very simple here this will be largest and the return index will be n minus k so let's now run this program and see how it works so here is the output as you can see the array is 12 3 5 7 19 k value is 2 so the twelfth smallest element is 3 and then 5 so 5 and the twelfth largest is 19 then 12 12 so as you can see the output has come proper and right thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time